That's right. The Homeless Services Network depends largely on federal funding to operate. And because we're in the middle of a shutdown, they're not coming in until the government opens back up. Right now, more than 800 formerly homeless people in Central Florida have roofs over their heads, according to the Homeless Services Network. The group works to make sure those in need have a safe place to sleep at night, and it does that largely through community partners and federal funding. Uh, they used to help help people help pay for their housing, but also provide the services that are needed to help people maintain that housing. But during a government shutdown, federal dollars stop coming in. Over time, we'll, we will see uh, more and more of those resources decrease. HSN Executive Director Martha R. says while no one is panicking yet, there are fears that this shutdown could go on for too long. And so as, as time goes on and um, if we're not able to access those dollars to get reimbursed for those expenses, then uh, the services will stop being offered. If the shutdown continues to go on, then um, certainly the uh, agencies that are providing services, uh, many of our community partners, if the shutdown continues, then yes, there's a chance that they, the agencies will lose the ability to pay the staff. Now, HSN also says they are in limbo about next year's funding. They say the announcement on how much they'll get has been delayed due to the shutdown. They say that announcement usually happens around this time of year. In the studio, Ashley Edlin, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.